up off net. Up off net. That's a big one. What's up, my people? This is Showbiz Adult. All right, man, look. Why is the lineal champion important? And is there a lineal champion? Whoops! All right, man, look. Let's get to the video. I get a lot of comments, DMs, emails, asking me to explain this lineal champion thing, and I've done it before, but maybe I haven't done it in completion. And that's why so many people are, look, you're gonna have to explain this to me. How is Tyson Fury the lineal champion? And why is there a lineal champion? And is being the lineal champion, is that important at all? Because you don't have a physical strap. Showbiz coffee. Showbiz the coffee. Um, look, let, let me explain this. And, and I know we're going to have people jumping in the comments before the video is even over, not listening to the uh, complete argument. There's nothing I can do about that. But what I can say is, one, uh, the, the importance of the lineal champion all de depends on who you are a fan of, fan of. If you are a huge fan of Anthony Joshua, his name ain't, isn't even put in a discussion, and he holds majority of the belts. So the lineal championship for you is Fugazi. I get that. If you are Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder fan, you hate that argument people have with Tyson Fury saying he's a lineal champion, but I think you are lacking vision because if Deontay Wilder uh, is victorious come February 22nd, then that's a feather Deontay Wilder's hat. You may want to listen to this argument so you can say Deontay Wilder is the lineal champion and that is an important thing. As far as Tyson Fury, if you're a Tyson Fury fan, of course, you understand the lineal championship. There are some of you who just don't respect it at all and I can't do anything about that. Hopefully you can sit through this video, understand my case. Show bears the coffee. All right, man, look, the lineal championship is a title that is respected by all publications of boxing. OK, now here's the thing. Why I respect it, why it is respected and why is it here? It's, it was it was established by the boxing fan and I am for the boxing fan first. See, the lineal championship was established by the boxing fan. The boxing fan wanted to know who is the champion. Now, who's your champion? Who's my champion? Who is the champion? It all happened in the late 1800s, uh, uh, you know, early 1900s. It all happened with Jim Jeffries and Jack Johnson. See, John Sullivan being, this is where the lineage began with John Sullivan, the first heavyweight uh, champion. He lost to uh, Corbett, of course, that was easy to follow. Fitzsimmons beat Cor uh, Corbett. It was easy to follow. The man who beat the man who beat the man. That's the lineal champion. Now, uh, Jim Jeffries beat Fitzsimmons, became the lineal champion. And then Jeff Je Jim Jeffries retired, okay? When he retired, the belt was vacated. And, you know, a couple guys had it, Tommy Burns, uh... The vacated title ended up in the hands of Jack Johnson. I think he beat Tommy Burns for the title. And he became the champion. But for the people, their champion was Jim Jeffries, who went undefeated. Jack Johnson wasn't respected as the champion until he beat the man who beat the man. That's when Jim Jeffries came out of retirement for the fight of the century, right? And Jack Johnson defeated him, becoming the world champion. He is the champion. He's the lineal champion. So the lineal, the lineage, the lineal champion was the, uh, established by the boxing fan. But the rules are defined by major publications of boxing. The number one being that of Ring Magazine. Now, I'm looking at my Ring Magazine because this is why I respect the lineal champion. Let me tell you why. When you look at Ring Magazine and you look at the rankings, there's one thing that makes me sick. Uh, if I can find the rankings, it's taking me a while. All right, if you look at the rankings, let me tell you what you see. Let's just take this, uh, this page, for example. I, it may be hard to read. But when you look at this, you see the middleweight champion. That's Canelo Alvarez. Then you see for other weight classes, it's vacant. 
vacant. The champion is vacant. There's no champion here. There's no champion here. It's vacant. So many people hold belts. So the lineal champion for me is extremely important because you have all of these sanctioning bodies. You have the IBF, the WBO, the WBA, and many people want to know who is the champion. So when it comes to the heavyweight division, who is the champion? Yeah, uh, uh, Anthony Joshua. He has the, you know, the WBO, the WBA, all these things. And Deontay Wilder has the WBC. Who is the champion? That's why I love and respect the lineal, the lineage, the man who beat the man who beat the man. Now, let's discuss how Tyson Fury is even the lineal champion. Showbiz the coffee. Uh, people are probably typing in the comments right now. Uh, yeah, the man who beat the man who beat the man, then who beat Lennox Lewis? Relax, I get there. Now, when it comes to the lineage itself, it's been broken many times, okay? It was broken, like I just said, with Jim Jeffries. It was broken again with Rocky Marciano, okay? Rocky Marciano, he retired as the champion, which I always thought Rocky Marciano, he had more fights in there. I, I, he retired, he just was like, look, man, I'm, I'm, I'm done with it. I wish he would have kept going, at least handed the torch, passed the torch, but he retired. There's rules set in place for that. If... A champion, if a lineal champion retires or passes away with the belt, to, to keep the lineage, there's rules set by Ring Magazine. Now, it was a little easier then. The vacant title was fought, by, fought for by Moore and Patterson. Floyd Patterson beat Moore. He became the uh, lineal champion. That's how the lineage kept going. Now, you could say, you could say it stopped with Rocky Marciano. But because of the rules in place, when the title was vacated, whoever got the title and Rocky Marciano, he's not coming back. That's how you you glue the lineage back together. So now Floyd Pat Patterson is the lineal champion. It went on. Easy to follow. The man who beat the man who beat the man is the champion. I don't care how many sanctioning bodies out there. That guy, the lineal champion, is the champion of the world. Great fighters had it. Muhammad Ali, he had it. George Foreman, he had it. Uh, uh, I think George Foreman had it twice. Did he have it twice? Uh, uh, Mike Tyson, he had it. Evander Holyfield had it multiple times. Yeah, Ali had it multiple times. Joe Lewis, great fighters were lineal champions, of course. Now comes the part that we all argue. Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis becomes lineal champion. A great lineal champion indeed. Now, Lennox Lewis, with respect for the lineal title, with respect for the passing of the torch, he took on Vitaly Klitschko. You gotta give Lennox Lewis mad love for that. Lennox Lewis was at the twilight side of his career. As far as him, age, I don't know. But as far as what he had left in his body, you know, he was in the Olympics twice. He was older than Mike Tyson. The guy was really at the end of his rope. And he took on Vitaly Klitschko. He did what Rocky Marciano didn't do. He, he attempted to pass the torch. Lennox Lewis won and retired. With Now, he was getting his ass kicked, but he won. And he retired, you know, with the lineal, with the belt. That's when the lineage was broken this final time, okay? Uh, I think Vitaly was winning the fight, just to go back to that. But anyway, he got cut, got busted open. Hey, Lynch Lewis won. Regardless, he retires with the belt. The lineage is now broken. How is Tyson Fury the lineal champion? Because uh, Klitschko, Vladimir Klitschko became the lineal champion. How did that happen? There were, he, didn't, he didn't become undisputed. How did that happen? Well, Vitaly Klitschko had the title, the WBC title, became champion. When Vitaly Klitschko was champion, ranked number two, Valdemir was ranked number one with the rest of the belts. They weren't going to fight each other. It was impossible. They weren't going to fight each other to become, for one to become undisputed. They were brothers. So what happened was in 2009, uh, uh, Vladimir Klitschko took on the number three ranked heavyweight, Ruslan, White Tyson, uh, Shakaev. He fought him in 2009. He was ranked three. So Vitaly was ranked two. Vladimir was, was ranked one. One couldn't fight two, so they, they set the rules in place. One is going to fight three. Vladimir 
fought the ranked, the three ranked uh, fighter, the white Tyson, Ruslan Shakaev, and beat him to become the, get the title of lineal champion. That's how he became lineal champion. So you still had Vitaly with the WBC belt, and you had now Klitschko, uh, Vladimir Klitschko, being the lineal champion. And then Vitaly retired. But still, Vitaly retired in 2013. The lineal champion, that lineage was put back together in 2009 when Klitschko, Vladimir Klitschko, took on Shakaev and became lineal. So that was that beat was reestablished in 2009. 2013, Vitaly retires, and then they case the WBC crown. And you know, you, you have uh, uh, Chris Ariola and 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 Stavarn and all that stuff. All that happened, and now Deontay the Bronze Barbara Wilder has that belt. This is why I say this fight between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder is so important when it comes to the lineal champion, because if you look at it. Tyson Fury beat the lineal champion set by the rules of Ring Magazine. So uh, Tyson Fury beats Klitschko, becomes the lineal champion. But the WBC crown that was, was the, the little piece that was holding everything together, the WBC uh, crown passed down by the last lineal champion, Lennox Lewis and, and Vitaly Klitschko, that is in the hands now of Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder. He has a piece of that because on that crown, on that WBC crown lies the blood of the, the last lineal, true lineal champion who beat the man who beat the man. That DNA is on that WBC crown that Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder is holding. Tyson Fury, the lineal champion set by the rules of the major publication Ring Magazine. Now they're fighting each other. Again, whoever comes out of that to me is unquestionably the lineal champion by the rules of, uh, of publications and also also be by the fact that the the DNA of the last lineal champion is on the WBC crown held by Deontay Wilder. Whoever comes out of that is holding the WBC champ uh, belt and the title of the lineal champion. Now, you may ask yourself. Didn't Tyson Fury retire? When he retired, when he retired, how did he stay the lineal champion? Well, he wasn't when he retired. He retired, but he came back. And that is the reason why I started with the Jim Jeffrey story. The fans did not see Jack Johnson as the heavyweight champion until Jim Jeffries came out of retirement for the fight of the century. So, Tyson Fury coming out of retirement, that helps reestablish the lineage without these rules being set to try to glue it together. Tyson Fury comes back, he's the lineal champion. Good, because we can keep going with the man who beat the man who beat the man. But I'll tell you this, there is no argument after February 22nd if there's not a draw. Showbiz the adult. I hope that answered your question. I may not revisit this ever again. <laughs> I'm out. Huh.